I believe that we can build a better financial sector, one that is safer, more sustainable, and ethically sound. A financial industry with a broader sense of purpose. And that goal is not just morally just, but it is economically right. We need further efforts to address the potential dangers of too big to fail. And we know that there is a widely shared perception that those who caused the crisis did not face the consequences while ordinary people paid a heavy price. We must be concerned about increasing discrete efforts to roll back some post-crisis regulations. Countries need to resist these pressures. And indeed, they need to push on because more work and political will are required to fully implement the existing reforms. And as policymakers are still internalizing the lessons from the last crisis, they need to be vigilant about the new risks. For example, we at the IMF have estimated that cyber attacks could potentially lead to net income losses in the global banking system alone of up to $300 billion. Or think of a sharp adjustment in asset prices that could affect the fast-growing shadow banking sector. That part of the financial world comes with many regulatory blind spots that should be addressed. For instance, we believe that Countries need to regulate underwriting standards in high-risk debt markets, including leverage loans. Now, of course, making finance safer is not just going to be about innovation and better regulation. It is also going to be about a broader sense of individual and collective responsibility. Certainly more can be done. From making clawbacks more consistent across countries, to enhancing the disclosure of disciplinary actions within firms to, create in the, to creating a global code of conduct. In major financial centers, we see a more forceful pursuit of individual wrongdoing. But the brunt of legal action, amounting to billions of dollars of fine, which makes the headline, is borne by financial firms, where it is often perceived simply as the cost of doing business. But even the toughest legal sanctions and the smartest compensation and governance rules cannot be substitutes for a strong individual responsibility that is grounded in values and ethics. For it is not just the, top, the tone at the top, but the response from the bottom that creates a better and more trusted corporate culture. That is why the financial industry needs what I call an ethics upgrade. Now, what do I mean? For financial professionals, it simply means doing the right things, even when nobody is watching. Serving other, others, not yourself. That is the real magic of finance. Thank you.